Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Oluchi Imo and on this channel I share key business tips. I talk about personal development, entrepreneurship, I do story time tutorials and vlogs as well and you're all welcome. If you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for joining us today. You're all welcome to the family. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you get notified when I upload a new video and if you've been here, you're all welcome back. Thank you so much as we head on towards 5k for your support for everything you've done, commenting, engaging, like liking, sharing, everything. I am so, so grateful. In today's video, we'll be doing a different kind of video. I realized that I have not talked too much about money. Have I really talked about money? Yes, I have mentioned money a few times, but today I want to dedicate a video to making money, to how you can make money as a baker, to how you can make more money in your cake business. Now, if this is something you're interested in, which I definitely think you should be interested in, because who doesn't like the sound of money? <laughs> Everybody does. We love money and we seek for ways to make more money so that we can take care of our many needs, bills, expenses and all of that. Please stick around. I'll be right back. You're welcome back beautiful people. So we're going to delve straight into the topic like I usually do. I like to just go straight, hit the nail on the, air, on the head. I like to hit the nail on the head. Like let's just go right into it because I know you must be itching to hear ways on how you can make more money. But please let me just lay a foundation. Let me just do lay a ground. Is it ground or what they call it? Let me just put a foundation to this topic. So I've always been a fan of you developing yourself, getting better, knowing more things when it comes to this business because it is what you do for a living, right? It is what puts food, puts food on your table. For some of us, it may be part-time, but for some other people like me, it is full-time. So this is our full-time job. It is our full-time business, running a cake business, and that's where you get the bills from. So it's important that you develop yourself. It is important that you gain skills. It is important that you learn and learn from a professional. It is important that you give a good structure and branding to your business like pay attention to the little tiny details because they're very very important you need knowledge you need to be a person of influence you need to be a person who people can look up to who people can trust before you can talk about making more money that is just the truth and that is the foundation and I decided to put that out there so you know because these tips are things that if you try it without being an authority you try it without being a person of influence you try it without knowing your onions you try it without having basic knowledge of the things you need to know having a good knowledge not just basic knowledge having a very good knowledge you will not be able to excel in this aspect of how you can make extra income how you can make more cash for your cake business so work on developing yourself if you need more personal development videos from me or specific de personal development videos as a baker please let me know in the comments below and i would work on that and bring that to you so without further ado let's go right into the ways you can make more money the first thing is your pricing and your product so let me put it this way look for how to reduce costs look for how to increase your pricing look for ways to save costs and look for ways to increase your pricing that's what it is basically so if you want to make more money in your cake business of course you don't just want to be throwing the little ones that you have here and there buying things buying tools that you don't need shopping from everywhere without even knowing where you can get the best value for your money where you when you don't even know where you can get goods at a fair price other than what you can get from where you're wearing and um, um, buying now that you can get from where you're buying now and i say this because it's really practical if you go to some vendors their prices are really high for the basic things that you know so something that is like maybe 500 naira in nigeria you can get it um somebody else might be selling it for 300 naira and it's still the same product and of good quality so i've mentioned it before in one of my videos don't be a one-store shopper make sure that you try to compare prices buy quality goods quality ingredients but make sure that you are you know saving costs basically and you're not just relying on one person relying on one place and then spending a lot of money than you should so if you reduce more money if you reduce your cost definitely you will be able to save some cash be able to save some extra change and extra coins and then you want to review your pricing so you want to increase your price all right there are other things to increase in the price so there are other ways to increase your price but that's not the focus of um this point for now so increase your price yeah increase it and then that way you can make more money from your cake business of course if you're charging more than you're charging now for your cakes you charge right you'll be able to make more money 
True, true. Yeah, so increase it. And like I mentioned in the video that I made not so long ago, create price tiers. So some bakers I know have different products, different products. But of course, these are big bakers. These are bakers that have grown over the years. They build their brand. They understand the market so they can afford to have multiple, multiple products. They have cake slices. They have layered cakes they have um treat boxes they have different they have a lot they have a lot of products though that way the more you sell the more money you get and the more you sell like you have different price tiers like i mentioned in the video not too long ago you have different price tiers for for your for your cakes and then you also have different products if you can manage it this is one way solid way to make more money in your business so you're catering to these people you're also catering to these people and that way you are able to pull more income and increase your revenue and increase your cash flow in your cake business the second point on how you can make more money or get more income is to do other cake related businesses so there are people that are bakers but they also um they also do some other things like selling cake tools like selling um cake ingredients i know a baker who has a baker's mat like she um sells things cake ingredients cake products that are not easily accessible here in nigeria okay she's abroad but she ships these products down that is one way to make more money in your business and i love her i love the way that she was able to you know transit his transit she was able to make that transition basically from being a baker in nigeria to being a baker abroad and then still was able to make more channels of making income for our business so i'll come to another one but that's what you can do these things that are not readily available in your country or that are not or, or that are not readily available in your location you can ship them down to your location it's not necessarily even nigeria if you know things that people need that are not readily and um, readily available you can be a, a supplier of these goods bring them in you can also sell cake tools what other related cake things can you do you can also be a consultant like i also i consult for cake businesses so that is a paid thing i do you can book a consultation with me one hour 30 minutes these prices these things are not cheap but of course you are sure to get value for your money and you're sure to have a, a you know clarity you're sure to have um the ability you know that growth that question you are able to have answers to your questions basically so you can also be a cake consultant you can consult for other businesses other young people coming up you can also do mentorship so you can mentor do paid mentorship you mentor people for like a month for day about let them know what you're going to teach them and you can make more money and like i said if you remember what i said in the beginning you cannot do this thing successfully if you are not an authority if you don't know your onions if you've not been able to do well people will not be able to trust you with their money people will not be able to trust you with their time so make sure that you're an authority you've built yourself you've built your brand you've established that crop that trust and credibility so that when you um, put out these things that these are all the services that you offer people will not be afraid to invest in your business they will not be able to they will not be afraid to come to you so make more money by doing other cake related businesses now if you're enjoying this video and you're liking this video please hit the like button and do not forget to drop me a comment if you are i would like to know if you are enjoying it please drop me a comment below the third way is to write a book so you can write a book i've written um about like is it three books now yes i've written three books that i've put out sold these books online and i'm also planning to write a book i'm not even saying i'm planning to i started writing a book during the lockdown last year but i don't know what happened i stopped along the way i think i was in chapter two of that book already yes i want to have a hard copy and also a soft copy for those that are not in my location so i started writing that book but i stopped and unfortunately it's just been like that but i want to pick it up now because i have a goal yeah i have a target and i have a goal so i want to start writing my book again and you know that's one way you can make money so if you are an authority i'll still hammer it please don't get tired of hearing it if you have been able to gain knowledge gain a wealth of experience through your years through the months of you being a baker of you being a cake business owner you can put down these things people want to learn so there is not it's not everything that you can learn online it's not everything that you can learn from google there are practical aspects that you need to learn firsthand from people who have successfully built a brand who have successfully built and grown a cake business and are running needs you know despite the challenges they're still moving they're still thriving you need first-hand knowledge you need first-hand experience so please 
this is one way you can write a book it can be a hard copy it can be a soft copy you can put it on amazon you can you can put it for on sale on different platforms in bookstores across the nation in your location you talk to the people involved put your books there and sell so while you're making cakes you're also selling books i know people are getting blessed people are being enriched people are being enlightened people are being taught people are being blessed by the wealth of experience you share from the you know things that you've written in this book so you can write a book be an author write put down put down put down your thoughts and then put these books out there and do great efforts when it comes to your marketing put your effort when it comes to your marketing push out these books and you can also make money from there is an extra source of income for you as a baker the first way is to teach teach now tell me if you don't know what you need to know if you don't know it very well how are you going to teach even teaching is not that easy. Imparting knowledge, like sharing my thoughts, like this I'm doing, is not very easy. Sharing knowledge, teaching people, and having them, having be, you know, having the ability to make them understand or to teach and so in a way that they would understand, it is not something very easy. But some people, some bakers, some people are very, very good in this thing. Some entrepreneurs are very good in this. So if you're good in teaching, why are you not teaching? If you know that your cake recipes are good, you have you, you can teach people how to bake and bake very well. Um, you can teach people how to run a cake business well. You can teach people how to manage their books, their finances when it comes to cake business. There are very, there are different aspects that you're very, very good in. Why are you not teaching people and getting paid for that? People are looking for this knowledge and they want to pay. Yes, it's not easy to get people to pay. I know that there are a few persons that really don't mind. They want this knowledge and they are not, they are not um, um, bothered about paying and they are not very. Is it finicky or what's the word? They're not very um, shy. They don't shy away when it comes to money or investing in a business. It's these people are out there, but you need to target them. I know that a vast majority of people <laughs> um, find it challenging to invest or find it challenging to sign up for these classes. I really don't know what the challenge is with getting people to pay, but you need to know that the more you pay, invest in yourself and in your business, the more your potentials for growth, the more possibility you're, that you're able to grow your cake business and you're able to move from just being in one spot for six months, for one year, you're making the same amount of revenue, you're even decreasing, you're not growing your customer base, everything is stagnant. If you don't invest in yourself and in your business, it will not grow. Okay, so if you know that you can teach, you have the ability to teach, you're very good in some aspects of cake business, like I'm doing, I'm very good with cake business, so I can teach. I've done a couple of classes in the past and I'm still able to do more. I do one on one, you know, teaching sessions and all of that. You can teach, teach how to bake teach how to decorate i do one-on-one -on -one zoom classes as well i did it last year during the lockdown taught people how to bake real time so i can do that if you know that these are the things you can do which i will term as your superpowers why are you not making money off of them monetize them monetize this let people pay you and you can make more money you can make extra income from this um, classes and from this teaching so please wake up find that thing that you're good at that you love doing you can do without stress and you know will be of value to people and teach so the fifth thing I'll be sharing is to have a YouTube channel. I know that maybe you weren't expecting that, but having a YouTube channel is a great way to make more money. It's a great way to get income for your business. It is not an easy thing to do. Like all the things I've mentioned, some of them are short term. Some of them are things that you can just do within a couple of weeks, a couple of months with proper planning. But there are some other things that are long term. So I've been doing YouTube by on the 19th of september the 19th of this month which is like next week i think i will be one year on youtube so it's been a long time so like it's a long time long term project i started last year september 19 2020 and i've been doing it for a year thank god i've been able to like put effort into it and i've been monetized I'm also making money off of YouTube and I've also done a couple of classes. I've gotten people um, through my channel who have signed up for a few of my classes. So this is one way to make money. It's not even directly from AdSense or from Google AdSense. You can make money through other means by having a YouTube channel. So if you know, if you know that you have something to put out there, you can teach. Why not get a YouTube channel? Like getting a YouTube channel is not rocket science. Getting a YouTube channel is not as easy. That's what I want to say. It's not as easy as um, it just looks. It seems you have to put effort into it. So 
in the way I've been able to grow, like I'm hitting 5k subs very soon. This week, next by God's grace, I should hit 5k subs. It has just been um, consistent effort, so it requires a lot of work, commitment, dedication, knowledge, you knowing what you're doing, you being able to share knowledge and being able to impact people basically. So having a YouTube channel, if you've been toying with this idea, let me know. Would you like to be a YouTuber? Let me know in the comments. Would you like a class? Let me know in the comments. Would you like free topics on YouTube? Let me know in the comments and I will work on making these things available to you. So these five ways I've shared are ways that you can make money from your cake business. You can make more cash. You can make more money from your cake business. If you have found this video helpful and you've enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and then drop me a kind comment. If you also have questions, please let me know. And of course, there are more ways to make money from YouTube. Okay, there are more ways to make money from YouTube, but these are the few that I want to share with you today, and I want you to work on them. Work on them because like if you're complaining um too much there's no money people are not wanting to people don't want to buy cakes this and that and i need money and you're almost at the front point of frustration you're almost at the point of giving up that doesn't change anything it doesn't change anything so look for ways to make opportunities out of these obstacles look for ways to make more money from your cake business it is very possible it's very possible to make money to also you know, reach beyond your borders and be able to close seals, okay? Let me just stop here for now. My mouth is itching to spill some other things, but let me stop here for now and um, hope that you run with this and you put these things to practice, okay? Thank you so much for your support once again. Until I see you in the next video, stay happy, stay safe, and stay blessed.